is like a Scooby Doo van. Yeah, they're doing some light type of racing up there. That's a big car, ladies and gentlemen. I think there are two cars in the race that you can put in that trunk. Going off. It was a very early Ford. The very early Fords, there was a Model A 20 years prior to this. Ford was so bumped after the T model, it was a wonderful success with the, with the new car, with the new car to replace the Model T coming out. And the hometown team there up front, I believe. Rookie division competitors, 1935 Ford. Take it easy. They got the whole bunch in there today, folks. Big family affair. Had a great week. Really enjoyed seeing that little Mercedes come and go. Look at it, folks. Little well, inside dirt. I messed this guy's name up a couple of nights. I couldn't get the wrong anymore. I won't even. I won't even. Oh, I can tell it. The navigator of this car got lost today before the race walking to dinner with a GPS. The navigator of this team. I told it so much that he's like, give me the mic, I'll tell you. Finishes to win, congratulations. Absolutely awesome. It's been my pleasure and honor to introduce you guys. I love the car, I love your spirit. Bring it in here, show it off. Two aces, John, there they are. Well, that's the dunk Those aces, they were hard earned. I could not go to your country and get those aces. Mary Webster out of St. Charles, Missouri. My friends, this car has been black on a couple of great races. How many races has this car been on? Three? Two before? In the offseason, he went through the entire drive line of this car, got it right, got the famous livery from the 917 Porsche 56 Mercury medalist. You probably didn't see one of those this morning at breakfast. This next Nice car. Thank you. 